Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're in the fish room. We're talking mega tank. This is my custom built by me plywood aquarium. It's eight foot long, three foot high and four foot wide. And at the moment it's home to these two. Um, Gordon, my emperor snakehead. And he doesn't have a name, but I'm thinking of giving him one that I can't say on here without being demonetized. If you've been following along, you'll know that in the last video, I had added some silver dollars in here to deal with some aggression issues. The problem was this fish here, my tilapia, he is very special. Uh, I, I don't want to be mean, it's not his fault, he's the way he is. He's just extremely aggressive um, and he is attacking every other fish that's in here. So Gordon is an emperor snakehead. He's over two feet long. He's actually a pretty chilled fish. Um, he's not been a problem since the day I got him. This one, however, I'm experiencing serious buyer's remorse. The problem is he does not know his limits and he does not leave any fish alone. As you can see now, this is a kind of constant. He's attacking Gordon fairly regularly. I spend a lot of time down here in the fish room and he just will not leave him alone. Gordon usually ignores it, he's fine with it, he's not fine with it, but he ignores it and his size generally puts him off and he can give as good as he gets, but it's getting to the point where it's just getting too much, in my opinion. Um, it's going to be stressing him out. I did put in some dither fish recently, I put in five silver dollars, hoping that it would spread the aggression, I uh, put in some more decorations. It just didn't work, to the point where I've now had to take out the silver dollars because they were getting so stressed by this fish here that they just could not put up with it and they were starting to get sick and I've actually moved them to another tank and I've since lost two of them. So the silver dollars are chilling in this tank while they recover and receive treatment. Um, if you can see them at the moment, they've kind of got some kind of fungal or bacterial infections, especially on the mouths and the, the top lips, so to speak. Um, but they did have more marks on their body. This was the kind of stage they were at when I noticed, and I think it was just too late. So when I noticed, I got them out and I got them into this tank, and they all got much worse than this. And I, unfortunately, I lost two of them. The others are starting to recover now. Um, and they, they look much better than they did even yesterday. But a couple of days ago, they looked like they were on their last legs. It did not look good. So I've been treating them with Esha 2000. It seems to have done the trick or be doing the trick. So lots of fresh water as well. And hopefully they'll be back to full strength soon. Um, they are feeding and stuff now. So that's a good sign. But yeah, it's never good when you lose fish. So I've lost two fish. If nothing else, they were, they're not cheap fish but I don't want to lose any fish. So I'm going to let these guys chill out in here for another good few days, if not longer, until they're fully recovered. And then if we have um, got rid of the tilapia, we might get them back into Mega Tank at some point and maybe add a few more, because I really do like, I have enjoyed owning them. I just haven't enjoyed having them so stressed out. So taking the fish out has obviously not helped anymore. This, um, Tilapia is still being fairly aggressive towards Gordon. He's just constantly swimming around looking at him. Gordon's ignoring most of it, and if it does get to the point where he does attack and bite, he gives back, and it's, it's caused a couple of marks on the tilapia's face here, which have since healed up and it's fine. But I can't let this go on any longer, so we need to get rid of the tilapia, certainly from this tank, potentially from the fish room. So I talked about how my ultimate plan was to put in the Oscars that I've got in another tank into this tank eventually, once they grew up a bit. They are quite big. I think Gordon the Snakehead would ignore them, because I think they would be scared of Gordon and wouldn't go anywhere near him. So my plan is to get the tilapia out just as an emergency measure and swap them with the Oscars. So get the Oscars in there, put back in a load of the decorations that I've taken out, give the Oscars somewhere to hide while they grow up. Again, I'll need to monitor that situation but at least it stops that fish attacking anything and then potentially I can have the Oscars, the silver dollars and the giant snakehead in there. So the tilapia here, he's a good 12 inches long, so he's not a small fish. It's going to be a problem rehoming, no doubt. Um, if you are interested, let me know in the comments. My email's fairly easily available as well. Let me know if you have a suitable tank and you're a subscriber, you can have them. Um, obviously needs a big tank. Preferably without tank mates, but if he is going to have tank mates, they're going to have to be pretty robust and fast to stay out of his way. 
Uh, but maybe your tank environment might be better than mine. Um, but I just don't think I can do him just in this tank. And he's, he's going to have to go before he causes even more problems and deaths. So if I tell you he's a foot long, you can see old Gordo's much, much bigger. Such a shame because he is an absolutely beautiful fish. The colours are just stunning. The orange tips, the red tips to the tail, and there's a dorsal fin. The blue iridescence. He's such a stunning fish. He would make a brilliant centrepiece fish. But that's not what I want for this tank. And as you can see, he just will not leave this fish alone. This is often his attack mode. Oh, don't want him to do it, but he might do it here where he just goes for the belly of Gordon. Gordon turns around and gives him what for. So, not a good situation for either fish to be in. Sorry buddy, you've got to go. So this is the Oscar tank, we've got the big one there and then we've got two smaller ones about this size. I'm thinking if I keep all these pots and extra wood and put them in the other tank, if they do have disagreements with Gordon, they can at least get out of the way. The Oscars, in my limited experience, are quite skittish and it does take them a while to get used to things so they will appreciate places to hide. Hopefully they will get the confidence soon to come out and grow and flourish. But I think that's what's going to have to be, because basically we've got Humphrey's tank over there, which is five foot, but that is Humphrey's tank. He's my channel mascot. I don't want to risk Humphrey in any way. I know we did try him in a mega tank before. I think if I did put him in, he would probably sort out that tilapia in short order. But that's not what we're about here. We're not creating some kind of death match. So I'm going to leave Humphrey in his tank. Well, that's one of my jobs for today is clean up his tank. And then this tank here, which is just shy of four foot, can be a temporary housing for the tilapia while I find him a new home. Let this be a lesson in practicing what you preach. I don't know how many times I've told or advised people that before you buy any fish, research it. Don't, don't just go and buy a fish without knowing anything about it. I literally turned up at the shop, I walked through the door and they said, oh, we've got a fish for you, Graham. And why wouldn't you be? I was stunned by just how beautiful this fish is. But didn't know anything about species, didn't know anything about the temperament. It was a surrender to the fish shop. I should have known that. <sighs> yeah, so we all fall foul of that. So I need to remember to give a little bit more lenience to people who buy fish on a whim. Um, because I've done it myself and it has caused me a problem. So let's get on with this, I guess. Quick word about someone typing right now. Oh, it's probably the water parameters that are causing the problems in the, the silver dollars. It's not. Just to appease the internet, the water parameters are fine, <laughs> but they are, they haven't. It's such a big body of water. I'd be very worried if the water parameters went down, but I have been testing this religiously since the day, before the day I put fish in this. They have not changed. These fish are fine. It's not the water parameters. And while we talk about water parameters, they match, the Oscar tank in this match both in temperature and all the other parameters. So I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. I'm going to use my big old net, get the problem child, put him to one side, still in the net, get the Oscars, move them across and get this one over. So it'll be done in short order. I don't know if I'll be able to film it all, um, but I just want to get it over and done with and cause the least amount of stress possible. So let's do it. I was going to say he's quite a dumb fish. I've never had a problem catching him. I'm now obviously going to have a problem catching him. Okay, not so dumb. Smarter than I thought. Soaking number one. The problem with a big net is it's really hard to maneuver. Because it causes quite a lot of drag in the water. And with an eight foot tank, they've got a fair old space to try and get away from me. And you're slow and they have a lot of space. Every time I've tried to catch this bloody fish before, it's been dead easy. What are you doing? Why are you causing me so many problems? We have him in the net. So my plan is just to rest him there where he's still fully submerged. It's obviously not going to be fun for him, but he shouldn't be able to cause any problems while I get the Oscars out. 
So this is still a big net by anyone's measurement, but nothing compared to that monstrosity. This slightly more challenging, but we'll have a go. So the first fish is actually a severum, um, but again, a decent size, hopefully more than a bite for Gordon. No food. I wouldn't be surprised if this Oscar breaks this night because it's quite a lumpy one. The larger Oscar. And then two smaller ones, which I'm hoping all these fish will be fast enough to stay out of the way. Sensible enough to stay out of the way. Even. Yeah, now kicked up the substrate so much I can't see a bloody thing in this tank. I'll take out some of the decorations because I'm going to move them across anyway. Big ball of java moss is helping no one. Can't see anything. It's like pea soup in there. Might leave that to calm down a while and we'll have a look at how they're doing. So you can see there's quite the size difference. But while he's paying some attention, Hoping this is just checking them out rather than plotting to kill. But you see, I've got one big pot in there. I've got a couple more of them and some more bobwood to create some more hiding spaces for these if it does turn a little bit tense. Uh, and the tilapia is still up there chilling out. So I've got some time, but I want to give it a little bit more time. God, you can see the size difference in them. I thought that Oscar was big. The Severum, I knew, wasn't. Oscar's actually piling up with the snakehead. Just behind it there. Let's get the other two and get them in there. Well, move completed. As you can see, the smaller Oscars and the larger Oscar at the Severum, they've been having a little dither around. They've only been in here about half an hour or something like that. But I've got more structure over here, which you can't see because of the glare and everything's been stirred up in the muck. I've put a few extra pots and bits of wood, some more fake plants. Who says there's no place for plastic plants these days? And yeah, so they've been checking it all out. I think they're just having a look at escape routes and <laughs> claiming territories and that kind of thing. Can you focus? But what I will say is they're all well aware of each other. The snakehead hasn't shown any great interest in any of them. And I kind of hope that's how it would go because he does seem to be quite chilled. It's not something I would recommend need to learn the personalities of your fish and there's no guarantee this won't end in disaster but there was a guarantee that the other one would end in disaster so I had to do something this one's just throwing a hissy fit so it has only been half an hour but he's just been in there kicking up muck so hopefully that'll clear soon but yeah this aquarium, aquarium is way too small for him At least you can't cause any trouble in there. So if you want to see how this ultimately turns out, obviously click that subscribe button. Uh, let me know in the comments anything you would have done differently that I can't now change because I've already done it. But you know, it's nice to know anyway. Follow along and we'll see how these guys ultimately end up. But if you want to let me know in person, Friday nights, 9pm UK time, we usually do a live stream with a fishy quiz. Um, that's quite fun sometimes. Come along, join that. Uh, and... If you are in the market for a grumpy big fish, I have one, let me know. Um, no charge to any subscribers, I just want to know that it's going to a good home, so if you've got a big enough tank and you're interested in the challenge, get in touch and um, hopefully we can sort something out. So they've been in all day now, um, I've been watching them all the time 
absolutely no aggression going on there whatsoever. The fish have even been out happily swimming around with each other. Not seen any aggression towards the snakehead or from the snakehead towards the Oscars or the several. Seems to be working. So I think this tank can work quite well as the snakehead is Gordon being the centerpiece and have lots of smaller fish um, happily living in there without fear. So hopefully we'll get the silver dollars back in there. We've obviously got the tilapias down here. Um, it is what it is. We just need to find them a new home. So as I said, if you're interested, please get in touch. Let me know down below or send me an email. And thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.